Bob, thank you. The summer months come with warm temperatures, and that can pose a deadly risk for children left in hot cars. July was the worst for hot car deaths in nearly a decade. Amy Yancey reports a new Senate bill aims to prevent more tragedies. Supporters of this proposed law say changing the way cars are built will keep kids from dying in hot cars. Two year old Asia Carter was left inside a scorching hot car parked on a Baltimore street for nearly 16 hours. Her father, Wilbert Carter, was convicted in her death last December. Miles and Carol Harrison are grieving for their adopted son, Chase. It was a 90 degree day in July 2008. Miles forgot to drop off the 21 month old at daycare, leaving him in the back seat while he went to work. And it's heartbreaking because I did it. I killed my son. These tragic cases are among more than 700 heat stroke fatalities of children left in cars since 1998, an average of 37 each year. That's why Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal introduced legislation that requires car makers to install sensor technology, alerting drivers to a baby left in a car seat. All cars ought to include sensors that can very simply save lives. Look before you lock, which is Jackie Gillen is the president of Advocates for Highway and Auto Safety. Door. She says child reminder systems should be a standard feature in new cars. We should have a reminder system for our most precious cargo, our children. The Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers says the proposed mandate would miss the car buyers who need it most, quote, because so few parents of young children buy new cars. Federal law requires young children to sit in the rear seat. It's considered the safest place for them. Some say it may also put them at a higher risk to be forgotten in the car. But that's why we need this complementary system. You know, we don't want to move children in the front seat. In addition to the Senate, the House of Representatives is considering its own similar bill. I'm Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News. Amy, thank you. The first seven months of this year have been the worst in terms of child heat-related deaths.